All right, so let's continue here placing uh, materials in our scene. See if we can start to uh, wrap this up. So let me go over to this catwalk here real quick, and I'm going to apply some textures to this. So you can see the catwalk is made up of different support beams, the floor, uh, this railing, also a staircase. Let's go over to the staircase and apply texture for that. So I'll select the staircase. I'm going to apply a bump specular. I'm going to go ahead and do a search for a stairs texture. The one I'm looking for is stairs to fuse. Apply the bump, fix the bump. Go to the stairs and um, generate an alpha from grayscale. Fix that up. Okay. A little support beam piece right here. Let's go with a bump specular. Let's do search for a catwalk beam straight, which is actually right here. Apply the bump. Fix it. Go to the diffuse map, generate an alpha from grayscale. So there we go, that's done. Now let's go ahead and do the railings. So I'm going to take the railings right here. And I'm going to give that maybe just a specular shader. And I'm going to look for railing. Here's the diffuse map for that. I'm going to generate an alpha from grayscale. Very simple, very repetitive process. Once you get the hang of it, it's really no big deal. I'm going to take the floor piece right there. I'm going to make that a bump specular. And I'm going to look for catwalk floor which uh, is not showing up so let me just look for floor and the floor that I want is this floor D diffuse down here so I'm going to apply that it's a texture map and I'm going to take its corresponding bump map and apply that I also want to go to the diffuse and as usual generate an alpha from grayscale now underneath you'll find that we have this piece right here Okay, so I'm going to go to maybe a bump specular for that, and I'm going to look for, it's actually going to be right here, the E diffuse, warehouse INT floor, E diffuse, and the E bump, fix the bump. I'm going to go to the diffuse and generate alpha from grayscale. Pretty simple stuff. You can see here that the bricks on the top over here are kind of penetrating through the floor. So... I'll fix this very easily. I'll take the floor or a top piece right here of the catwalk and I'm going to move that down. Uh, the pivot point right now is located way over there. So let me do this. Let me switch it to pivot and there's the pivot point over there. What I'll do is I'll move that down just a little bit until those bricks no longer penetrate through that floor piece. Okay, make sure you don't move it too much, just a bit, and there we go. Okay, so that takes care of the catwalk. Let's do these details on the walls, like these little wall boxes and things like this. So I'll take these little pieces here, these little junction boxes right here, and I'll go with maybe just, you know what, the fuse would work out just fine for something like that. I'm going to do a search for wall box. Looking for wall box D. So I have a wall box D over here to fuse. So I'll apply the diffuse uh, to that. Okay. Make sure the texture is applied correctly, and it is. Take this wall box over here to fuse again. Uh, wall box H is what we're looking for. Since I have a bump map for this, I'll just go ahead and apply bump map, and I'll just do a bump specular. I'll take the wall H bump, apply it, fix it. I'll go to the wall H diffuse generate alpha from grayscale uh, these pipes also so let me take these pipes right here and there's two materials a wall E and a wall box C okay so let's go ahead and let's look for that I have a wall box E right here so I'll just take the E and drop it here okay so you can see right there the pipes get the correct material and then I have a wall box C so I'll look for C up here here's the fuse drop that there now all the pipes should have the correct fuse texture now what you want to do is go to the walls find these different wall boxes and apply the corresponding material so wall box B for example goes right here boom there we go 
go along the walls here's some more objects that need textures so I'll go to this one that's wall box F so in doing this kind of development for games you do end up working with lots and lots of assets I know I mentioned this at the beginning of the tutorial way in the first videos I mentioned this a couple of times so I think now you start to see what I was talking about which is ending up with these massive scenes with tons and tons of assets that take a lot of materials and a lot of shaders to set up so it's a lot of work that's just the way it is uh, next-gen games are ambitious that's why usually it takes millions of dollars huge publisher a huge developer with lots of 3d artists designers and so on and so forth uh, working on this stuff round the clock putting in 12-hour days and even more sometimes and working weekends to get this stuff done uh, in order to meet the shipping deadlines or the release dates for the games okay so I'm gonna say I'm done with that so that's gonna do it for this video I'm gonna end this video here in the next one we'll wrap up and we'll apply the last materials to our scene